Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of this course. In the last videos, we discussed about importance of design principles and some of the very important design principles and how you can incorporate those design principles when you are developing any e-content. In the follow up videos, I am going to discuss some of the technologies which are important for an e-content designer or e-content developer. Before that, we also need to know that what kind of skills we are expecting from our next generation or from this uh, generation. So, if you go to P2Org, so you will find that uh, there are four important skills which we are looking from our learners. First is creativity and innovation. Second, critical thinking and problem solving because uh, now and in the near future, we are going to face a lot of uh, complex problems related to health, uh, social, internet security and we need our learners to be create critical thinkers and uh, problem solvers to solve this complex ill structured problem. Third very important is communication skill. Suppose the learners are working in a team, so there should be a good communication to develop and to solve uh, a complex problem. Fourth and very important as it is collaboration. So, if, if the learners are working together, so the, that should be a collaborative learning process we can develop. So, these are the four important skills and I believe that when we are using uh, some technologies, so these kind of skills can also be integrated using, this techno using the technology in uh, e-learning. Now, <coughs> what are the present challenges we are facing in the e-content or in, in or I can say in the teaching learning process, uh, especially in the online learning. The first is that we need to see the learning content which we are providing, uh, is it meaningful? Is it uh, fulfilling the demand of the industry? That is very important. Second thing is that whether the teaching learning process is being enjoyed uh, by the learners, whether it is joyful for the learners, how we are approaching the learners. Third very important is the interactive in nature, whether this uh, interaction mean to say whether the interaction among the learner and the instructor in online process, whether if you are using some kind of technology, is there any kind of interaction between the uh, system and uh, the learner. Fourth and very important is that the whole content or whole teaching learning process as online, whether it is effective whether the skills which we have frame, we have discussed in the previous slide are being inculcated uh, by uh, using this kind of content or teaching learning process. So, these are the four important challenges especially we are facing in the online course or even you can say that blended courses. In my view, I feel like <coughs> these are the three important tools uh, which uh, the in e-content designers should have the knowledge. First about the authoring tools. Now, authoring tools is helping the e-content designer or instructional designer to integrate different types of media together to create interactive content. So, there are many examples of I can one I, I can give one example that is Adobe uh, adaptive that is one example. Next very important is video tools. Now, you need to understand that video tools are very important in online learning or e-learning or even the uh, in the mixed version that is the blended learning because uh, you need to upload your video uh, with the course content and then also you need to some of you need to have some kind of screencast or if you want to show some kind of simulation using your uh, desktop screen or mobile screen. So, these are the important tools that you should be very familiar. Uh, the third very important is interactive content tools. Now, interactive content tools means suppose you are designing some kind of assessment using game based learning. So, for that what kind of tools you are going to use like for example, I am giving one example like Kahoot. I think you are familiar with the Kahoot. So, Kahoot is a tool where which can be used to develop some game based uh, assessment. In addition, you can develop some kind of simulation, you can develop some kind of animation. So, you, in summary, I can say that authoring tools, if you are very familiar with authoring tools, video tools and interactive content tools, so you can develop your e-content very easily. 
These are the four important emerging technologies in the 21st century, augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed reality and H5P. So, I am going to discuss or I am going to give you a very brief idea about these technologies. These technologies are very powerful when you are uh, teaching some kind of 3D concepts which are very abstract in nature. Now, augmented reality is basically uh, adding a virtual element in the real environment. Basically, it combines the three important characteristics I can say basically it combines real environment with the virtual world. Second, it has the 3D visualization and third very important is the real time interaction. So, when uh, when three combined together, so that is augmented reality. So, you can use any kind of smart devices uh, for the augmented reality. Augmented reality is basically two types. One is the marker based, another one is the location based. Now, marker based means just like a QR code, if you are scanning any QR code, so same same kind of in augmented if you are uh, scanning any kind of marker. So, the virtual elements and the 3D simulation will be uh, coming on your screen and then you can uh, you can touch and you can have the real time interaction with those elements. Now, in the virtual reality basically it is a creating a total fictional world or virtual world there is no connection with the real environment. So, that is the basic difference between augmented reality and virtual reality. In the mixed reality is more uh, real to uh, it is more, more close to the reality in nature where you can play with the virtual elements. Now, H5P is basically uh, a open source framework based on JavaScript where you can use the ST5, uh, HTML5 script to create your interactive contents. So, these are the four Im, uh, I, I can say very important and emerging technologies which can help you to develop your 3D simulation especially for the uh, abstract concepts uh, in science or in mathematics. It is very helpful and very powerful. Now, I am going to discuss that uh, I am going to give uh, discuss also give an example that how uh, you can use some technology to develop your own content. Now, basically we know there are three two types of uh, I think you are familiar with uh, teaching like traditional mode that is the lecture based flip classroom we are very much aware that we are uploading the videos uh, before the classroom and the students are going through the videos and then coming to the classroom there are discussion and uh, question discussion or problem solving activity. But here we are I am proposing beyond flipped classroom model because there are some research studies also saying that uh, sometimes vid videos are still boring for the students. So, how you can uh, make a more interactive contents for the uh, to enhance the flipped classroom model. So, now we propose the beyond flipped classroom teaching mode. Now, what is beyond flipped classroom teaching mode. Now, I think you are very familiar with this uh, some of you who are from the chemistry background you are familiar with this crystal structure. So, usually we uh, use this kind of teaching aid to teach some kind of uh, real models uh, like uh, crystal structure models like simple cubic, body cubic or uh, body center cubic or face center cubic. <coughs> but in our case what we have done we have developed. Uh, augmented reality application of crystal structure. So, here you can see that uh, how this kind of simulation I am going to show you one video also. Now, this is one video of augmented reality how we have developed and we have used. Now, you can see here. So, this is this is just like a marker base here we are providing one image and student is scanning the image and then this kind of virtual element is coming which you can interact. So, when you are interacting with that those different parts if you want to know you can do a lot of things you can you can uh, understand different parts single seat units all those kind of information you can you can even move rotate all these functions are there and these all are 3 D simulations. Similarly, you can see here also different body center is there you can know more about the body center you need to know different what is the unit cell of a body center. So, this is one example I am showing that. Now, what we are doing here we are saying that suppose this is very helpful when you, you are going for the blended learning course. 
or even for you can say that for even if you are going uh, you, you are going for the flipped classroom model also in your school or even in your university that is very helpful so here we are saying that instead of videos you can develop this kind of simulation and then <coughs> you can upload this simulation in any kind of uh, we have used dropbox as uh, as as uh, cloud you can use any kind of uh, either you can use google drive or some one drive there are many uh, cloud sources are there and you can upload this kind of apk developed <coughs> using augmented reality and then uh, based on that student can download it they can have some kind of uh, self study about this because this kind of contents are very interactive in nature and the students will be very engaged and they will be very active learners when you are providing this kind of simulation type of uh, content and uh, then in the classroom you can have the discussion and uh, you can have the assessment process also even you can provide some kind of problem solving so uh, today we would we discuss uh, some of the tools which are very important as a as an e content designer also uh, we discuss some of the emerging technologies uh, for 3d uh, simulations and uh, uh, how you can use this emerging technologies uh, whether you are going for the blended learning course whether you are uh, developing your e content whether you are going for your flipped classroom in the next video i am going to discuss some of the <coughs> open educational resources or oer tools which you can use to develop your e content so let's uh, meet for the next video thank you very much